Hey guys, it's Rebecca Reset. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you some of the steps that I do in order to edit some of these holiday looks that I have been doing that are very intricate and I've been trying to edit them in such a way so that you can see all of the detail work that I'm doing. I know that these looks are not for everybody, but I just wanted to show you some behind the scenes. I've had people ask to see how I edit things um, and I wanted to include this in a video so that you guys could see just how much work goes into editing one of these types of videos. I've done eight holiday looks so far. I still have two to finish editing so I can get them up, um, you know, for the next couple of days. But I wanted to show you, um, these are some of the looks that I have created just this month of December. Um, I did not pre film any of these. I started filming them in December and then I realized that, you know, once my friend tagged me in these looks, there's some of these shades that I didn't have. So I had to like scramble and try and mix shades to get them to match the pictures that I was trying to recreate um, as closely as possible. The looks that I did can be difficult. Um, some of them were time consuming, but every time I filmed one of these videos, I tried to make sure that I um, tried to keep my head in focus of the camera. Um, I made sure that it was zoomed out far enough so that in editing I could zoom it in. And then in order to shorten the length of the actual videos, I went ahead and um, I left everything at real time so you could see exactly how long it took me to do these things. But every time I looked down, every time I hunted for a brush, every time I color switched a brush or got water on a brush or was mixing colors or anything like that. Anything that took more than just a few seconds to look down, grab a color, and then look back up. Um, I cut all of that out in order to make the videos less lengthy. So hopefully you enjoy this editing um, clip that is fixing to be coming up. I recorded this on my phone one morning when I was editing. So hopefully this gives you an insight into how much work goes into one of these videos. Enjoy. So I have talked about this in past videos where I say that I cut quite a bit out. Each one of these like little lines is me making a cut. I just finished zooming this one in. I want to show you something. So here's the zoomed in part and there it is without the zoom. So I take these clips and I have to resize everything. And then I have to make sure everything fits in that frame. And then I rewatch it in order to make sure it fits. And I've got from here out to finish the rest of this is done. I also come through and if I need to bulk mute something, um, I just select it and then mute it that way I can do my voiceover. So far this video is 20 something minutes long. But back here is all of the stuff that I have cut out. So just to give you an idea, when I talk about, you know, every time I like look down or every time I am looking for something or I'm doing something else that's not like detailed, this, this is what I cut out. Okay, so just to give you an idea, this starts at 25 minutes and ends at 38 minutes and 21 seconds. So, so far right now the video says the length of the video is 38 minutes and 20 seconds total, right? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go boop. The video is now 23 minutes and 30 seconds long and I haven't added, this is the picture of the look I was recreating and then of course I've got my pictures that I need to add of the, the stills that I took. So that gives you an idea of just how much footage I cut out of this video. And all of this is, so far all of this is edited 
and zoomed in up to that point where I showed you in the beginning. This is just a little like behind the scenes of how I edit, how I do things, um, you know, and like I said, I try and cut out every time I look down, especially when I'm doing detail work like this, I have to be conscious of time because I'm leaving this at real time speed. And of course I can't do anything about the blurry camera. But I figured I would show you guys some insight into how I edit and why I edit things the way I do. And now we're back to where I need to finish zooming stuff in. I mean, I could leave it like this, but again, you really can't see what I'm working on. So that's when I come in and I make a tiny little square and I put it over my work. And then I just make sure that I move within that little box. And then, okay, and then voila. Now you can see what I'm doing. Ta-da! <laughs> Anyways, it's a lot of work. Um, it takes a lot of time to edit like this. It is very time consuming for the simple fact that I have to come through every clip and make sure that I zoom zoom the work in on each one not to mention the fact that um, every time I hit this button here which is my render just to give you an example every time I'll do like a few minutes of editing and then I'll render so it's at 20 50 frames right now it's got five minutes when I first initially pulled this into the document to edit it, it was at three hours and change to render the video. And then I edited like five, you know, five frames and then rendered it again. And it was like two hours and some odd cent, you know, long in order to edit it. And you see, I still have all of this to zoom in. And then of course I have to add the, the pictures that are up here that are um, highlighted those are the ones I just imported in so I pull those down into the document and then I make you know I pick out a couple of pictures here and there and then I have to render it again and then I do the voiceover for it and then I have to find music and every step I have to render it to make sure I'm seeing what you guys will see when it's uploaded to YouTube so hopefully this is helpful um, to anybody that's looking at how I edit, why I edit things the way I do. Um, you know, all of this, all of the work is there. All of the blending is there. All of the detail work is there. I don't cut any of that out. I know it makes for a longer video, but I want people to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So hopefully this is helpful to somebody that is, you know, either getting started with YouTube or trying to learn. This is Wondershare Filmora 9. Um, I'm like on version 10 point whatever it's the latest version that they have um, after 8.7 when they came out with 9 they did away with this render feature right here where we didn't have a way to do what's going on right now and the audio wasn't syncing up with the video and the playback was very jilted it was like you would see like the video clips jumping and it was very very bad so I'm glad that they updated this um, you know and gave us some of the features back also there's other features that I have learned recently or within the past few months of um, farting around with the software and figuring things out that if you guys want more in-depth videos on um, just how I edit how I try and get as close to where the work starts frame wise and then make that cut there so that any of the dead space is cut out I can do that as well but I figured I would give you a behind the scenes uh, look at what I do editing wise how I do it and why so let me know if this video is helpful I'm probably going to post this on my main channel and then uh, of course this will be a vlog clip that goes into something for my second channel so it'll end up on both channels eventually but yeah so that is my process this is one of my holiday looks that I'm editing right now I've got three more to edit after this one and then I'm all caught up with those 
So yeah, I will see you guys later. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day or night wherever you are, and I will see you later. Bye.